Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and I'm at home at the moment with this. It's the brand new Jaguar XE 2019. It's their most affordable saloon, and I'm sure you'll agree, it's a stunning looking car. And it's not just what's on the outside with this redesigned grill, these super sharp, cool, all LED headlights. It's not just what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside, the technology upgrades that obviously being a tech YouTuber, I'm most excited about. And so this is gonna be something a little bit different. Tom, how's it going? Going very well, thank you. It is a beautiful day. And we're starting a beautiful car. It is lovely in here. So you are James of Barbster 360. That is me, yes. And you make videos on tech and some cars and gadgets and all sorts of things. I film pretty much everything and anything over on my channel. You should definitely check out his stuff. Oh, but I want to do much. something a little bit different today. Okay. Okay, so we've got the Jaguar XE. Yes. And have you ever played those video games like Gran Turismo and Forza? I love Forza. And you know those photo modes that yes. you have in the car? Do you see where this is going? Yes, I see where you're going uh -huh. now. So those photo modes where you take a beautiful car, put it in a beautiful location, and then take some sexy photos. Yes. I want to do that with this, but Ooh. there's a challenge. There's a but. There's a but, there's a big but. We have to use a smartphone. Okay. So this is the Galaxy S10 Plus, a few different camera lenses, and I want to see who can take the best picture of this car, put it on with, Instagram. With the phone. With the phone. Yeah. Put it on Instagram. You guys then vote, you know, double press heart, the Instagram photo, of which is your favorite, and the winner keeps the car. Serious? No, that's not true oh, at all. No, the winner doesn't keep the car. But that would be cool, right? <laughs> that would be cool. The winner gets respect <laughs> and a more liked photo. So we're going to play with the Jag, try to some locations. And, and I assume there's a lot of cool tech I mean, built into this Absolutely. Car. Heads up display, digital dashes, dual touchscreen. There's a Amazing. million things going Amazing. on. So I can't wait to test this out as well as take some awesome photos. Cool. Let's go do it. Let's do it. There's two screens. Uh, Jag call it like a touch duo display. Okay. So normally I have navigation up top and then on the bottom climate. Yeah. Uh, we also have a digital dash you can see behind the wheel. Nice. Which is very cool. All the Remarkably easy to see considering it's quite bright and sunny. I right know. Now. I thought that just looks super crisp and nice. And I guess as well it automatically updates when you change in different dynamic driving modes as it well. Does. In it. So actually if I press this little button here and put it in our dynamic mode or just yeah. dynamic Ooh, mode, yeah. you see what's happened? Go faster red, James. <laughs> That's how it works. But actually above that, right here in the windscreen, I can see a new heads up display, which again gives me speed, the speed limit at the moment, and also nav instructions. All right, James, we have made it. Oh, okay. This is location one. Never used this before, by the way. Okay. Got an advantage. Yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna win anyway. <laughs> when I take a picture of a car, I want to position myself at pretty much 45 degrees away from the car because I really feel like it enhances the kind of the look and the design of the car. And also, I want to bring myself down a little bit to really emphasize the design and the look of the car. We're using a phone, so I want to optimize the three different cameras on this phone. So we've got the telephoto, the normal, and the wide. And I'm feeling maybe a nice wide shot to really emphasize that kind of big front end of the car. Okay, so James is talking all about angles and things. For me, I like to have more of a depth of field. So actually, if you ignore all this behind the scenes camera equipment, and then come this way, I like to have a sort of foreground, a mid-ground, and then a background. And then say, put it in the telephoto zoom. Kind of have this leaf of this tree, a bit blurry in the foreground. That's the best photo. <laughs> That's the real winner, James. <laughs> Thanks, mate. So, I mean, that was a cool location. Mm -hmm. I love the nature vibe you were going for there, but I feel for my location, we should do the opposite. Okay, that sounds interesting. Any ideas? The little city called Wales. Wales? Wales. W Wales. Wales, not Wales, Wales. Not Wales. <laughs> not the Wales in the sea. <laughs> not the country Wales, but the The city. city of Wales. The smallest city in England, Wales. Okay. Now, I would say, do you want drivers there? But for insurance reasons, you're not allowed to. Right now, we're in a little town called Cheddar, which has famously a big old gorge, Cheddar Gorge. And it uh, it's incredible. It's beautiful driving around here. Because even though this is a pretty big car, uh, it just feels so light. And also, obviously, with that 2 litre petrol 250 PS, it's pretty nippy as well. So, as we were filming this video, our GoPro actually died. It went out of battery, which could have been the end of the video. But fortunately, because the Jag, has some super speed USB ports. I can actually plug it in 
and then charge up my tech. It will obviously charge this, laptops, your phone, so I can be making my video on the go. You see a little cubby hole at the front there? This one. At the bottom, yeah. Get your phone, put the back side down in there. Tell me what happens. It starts charging. It starts char wireless charging. Oh! Chi, wi chi wireless. No, no joke, I actually do need to charge my phone. <laughs> great, great. You come out on a shoot with a dope phone. Great. <laughs> we also have some pretty sweet speakers. I think there's a few different options, but they were all Meridian. Super good quality. Yeah, yeah. these speakers are really, really good. Turn it up to 11, mate. <laughs> Let's turn it up to 11. It's pretty good. It does sound very good. It sounds great. For me, mm -hmm. the best, the coolest feature of this car although you may disagree, is this rear view mirror. Right. You see that little knob, that little flicky toggle thing in the middle? This one? Yep, pull it forward. Oh, wow. It's a screen. <laughs> I so, didn't actually know that that's what that was. Isn't that cool? That is cool. So the camera, mm -hmm. which we're looking at right now, is on the top of the car? On the top of the car. So the little aerial fin on the top, they've mounted a camera in the back of it. So the only, this is the first time I've ever seen something like this. It's such a good idea because if you flick it back, and let's say you had a couple of mates in the back oh, where you've got yeah. tons, of, tons of luggage. You, I mean, I've got a decent view now, but it could be, it could be uh, you know, hidden. So then if you can't see out the back, flick to that. It's way Your safer. Your view's never going to be obstructed again. And it's also just crazy futuristic, and I love it. <laughs> but also, it, just the quality of that thing. Like, I've got dash cams in my other car. I oh, know, that's like an actual TV screen up there. It, I think it's high refresh as well, like a high refresh rate, it, yeah, maybe 50 good. or 60 hertz. I tend to keep it in this mode all the time. I definitely prefer it. <laughs> I mean, this is location number two. What are you saying, Tom? This is it? What do you reckon? Oh, there's a King Cathedral right there. <laughs> Let's just look at this. That could be a winning photo, what do you think? This is a great location, James. Good choice. I mean, you could take a picture of that and with that, it looks great, but I reckon if you add a person in it, with a face, you know, some context, some emotion, it would make it way more interesting. Your turn. So one thing what I've noticed as well with using new smartphones is they actually have some really good intelligent kind of live focus modes or portrait modes built into the phone. So you can really play around with the depth of field of the shot, which basically gives it that nice blurry background, which kind of makes the image look like it's been shot on a DSLR or a bigger camera, but it's actually been taken with a smartphone, which is in your pocket all the time. I guess if there's two things I would like to see on this car that it doesn't have at the moment, mm -hmm. I would like to see haptic feedback on the infotainment screen. So when you press a button, you get like a little vibration. Yeah. And the other thing is, obviously you have this super cool rear view mirror, but why doesn't it record? If there was a little uh, SD slot on the yeah. side, you could just- That's all it would need. So I think for me, this is probably my favorite picture, which I'm gonna mm -hmm. upload. Not you bad. chose yours? Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. I definitely took that picture. No, okay, uh, that one. I took that one. Okay, so. it doesn't matter. I took one of these. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna post these photos that we've taken on our respective Instagram pages, and it's your job to vote beep, for beep. the winner. Just double tap heart. On mine. On mine, it's my, it's my channel, James. <laughs> and then the winner does not win the car. It's a shame that, really. It is a bit of a shame, but we've had a great time with it. And also, I think, I mean, the real winner is this car, the Jaguar X. It's gotta be, it just looked great in every location we took it. It was just so stand out. Yeah. The locations kind of came second and the actual car just really popped the vibrancy of like- Absolutely, I mean the, the, the red, it's just, it's beautiful. Yeah. I've been lucky enough to drive it, it's around town, there's windy roads at Cheddar Gorge, yeah. it's beautiful. And the sort of mid-tier car, there's higher level spec ones, but this was just sublime. But obviously tech YouTuber, it's all this technology that stands out with that digital dash, the heads-up display, the Meridian speakers, dual infotainment system, the fancy rear view mirror, the wireless charge. Oh, there's so much there to talk about. There is so much. And if you're into tech and a bit of a nerd like us, that stuff, well, I really appreciate it. So a big thank you to Jaguar for letting us have a bit of a play with this. A huge thanks to James for coming on the channel and helping out. And thank you for asking me to come over. Hopefully you'll come on again. Come Hopefully, on. if these guys like me enough, yeah. then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys. Let us know what you make of the Jaguar and our little collab in the comments below. And we'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.